Hi, I'm Sam Kelagioni from Dogfish Head in Delaware, and we're a brewery that opened in 1995. Our purpose since the day we opened was to brew off-centered ales for off-centered people, and that meant kind of considering the entire culinary landscape for potential ingredient choices that go into our beer. And as we researched ancient beer styles, we started to see something uh, that we didn't expect, which is uh, long before beer was just water, yeast, hops, and barley, every culture brewed beers that were basically hybrids using different fermentable sugar sources, not just grain alone, but for complexity, adding things like honey and fruit. But one of the most common hybrids that we found in ancient beers was mixing grapes, fermenting grape sugars, and grain sugars, i.e. hybrids of beers and wines. Uh, it was hidden in the crockery in 10,000 year old tombs uh, in China and in 3,000 year old tombs in Turkey. Um, so around the world cultures were brewing this and sometimes it's nice to look backwards for inspiration instead of always trying to do something futuristic and in 1996 Dogfish had started playing around with this concept of beer-wine hybrids when we did our Raison d'Etre, a beer that was basically reverse engineered to be an ultimate partner for a steak. So it has a lot of red wine uh, DNA to it. It's brewed with uh, green raisins, big plump raisins that aren't all the way dry, and beet sugar as well, sugar from beets. Um, and that beer is brewed with a Belgian yeast, spicy yeast, so it's kind of like a Bordeaux of beers. Uh, a few years later, we did an ancient beer uh, using uh, uh, molecular evidence found in crockery in King Midas's tomb, the tomb uh, believed to belong to King Midas in Turkey. That beer had evidence of white muscat grapes, saffron, and honey. That became our Midas Touch beer. Uh, and then another beer that we uh, do that is a combination of the three is, is one of my favorite beers we've ever done. Uh, we work with Washington State's Winery of the Year, Nicole Alexander Nicole uh, Sellers, and we ask them to find Botrytis-infected Viognier grapes. And this is a really rare occurrence uh, out in the grape growing region. This Botrytis infection really intensifies a sweet and sour complexity in that grape that's like nothing else in nature. And we bring in giant tankers, over $60,000 worth of Botrytis infected Viognier comes chilled on a tanker truck from the west coast all the way to our brewery on the east coast. We time it so we start fermentation on a big wheat beer uh, and just as the yeast is growing up, we dose in this Viognier and it makes a beautiful, intense sort of um, Pinot Gris type sweet and sour uh, beer wine hybrid. So those are uh, three examples. Beyond that, uh, we have uh, a beer that we do called Red and White, which is a big Belgian wheat beer uh, fermented with Pinot Noir grapes. Um, and then we have another beer that's coming out in March of 2013 that we're really, really excited about that will be our highest volume uh, beer wine hybrid uh, coming at you. So uh, think outside the Reinheitzke box, uh, try something new, uh, seek out a beer wine hybrid from Dogfish Head Brewery and bring it home uh, for beer lovers and wine lovers and your bad self.